So Fanny, in this video, we are learning more about key performance indicators in SEO from a strategic perspective. Um, what is your view on brand visibility and how that is achieved through SEO? That's a very, very good question. And based on my experience, I see a lot of people focusing on keyword terms, which is very good because people that don't know your brand will come through keywords. But the moment you start getting direct traffic, people know your brand, that invariably means you'll be spending less on page search because people are typing in your brand name specifically and they're coming straight to you to buy something. A good example is Amazon. Think of yourself when you buy something on Amazon. When was the last time you searched for something through Google to get to Amazon? You just go straight to Amazon and then you're there. And if you want to watch Netflix online on your computer, you just go straight and type Netflix. If you want to buy an Apple product, for example, you go straight and type apple.com or .co.uk and you buy the product. So that is strong brand from an SEO perspective. So the level of direct traffic they'll be getting will be, ex will be exceptional. So in my opinion, companies need to do a lot to kind of promote their brand to reduce the cost per acquisition from a paid search perspective and also reduce competition as well because once people are once your customer is aware of your brand they type that straight in to get straight to your website and there's a lot of strategy that you can implement to give visibility to your brand rather than focusing on keywords and in another video i'm going to talk more about brand SEO, like using SEO to kind of improve your brand visibility. In our earlier conversation, we spoke about um, crawlability and its importance for, um, for website SEO. Um, so what is the link between crawlability and visibility and what are the KPIs? So when you're looking at key performance indicators from a crawlability and visibility perspective, let me first talk about crawlability the ability for Google to be able to access all parts of your website from an SEO standpoint, not having any issues when it comes to crawl crawlability in terms of server errors or any technical problems in terms of even speed, that means you have good quality website from that perspective, which also improves your ranking. The visibility perspective is making sure that all the important websites pages that is relevant to conversion on your website is being indexed by Google. So they both work hand in hand. So when Google needs to be able to crawl your website to be able to render those websites visible to people when they search. So crawlability and visibility, the key metrics is you want as low errors on your website, as low technical SEO issues on your website, the lower those issues, the better. So those are the metrics you need to focus on zero, crawlability issues if, if possible and very, very high visibility if possible. And what are some of the KPIs related to website performance and speed? The, the, the number of seconds, milliseconds it takes for your website to load, that's a very good KPI you need to, to focus on. If you can get your website to load within one millisecond, perfect. The, the longer it takes, the, 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 the more difficult it is for people to actually stay on your website. Say, for example, your website is taking 30 seconds to load. Nobody's going to come on your website and Google is not even going to rank your website high because it's bad experience from a usability perspective. So the key metric you want to focus on is make sure your website loads as fast as possible within four milliseconds if possible. The, 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 the faster, the better because it also affects conversions as well. A faster website, you get more conversion. A slower website impacts your conversion. You've identified the backlinks as one of the key elements of um, SEO. Um, yeah. What is the number of backlinks that should be tracked or used as a KPI? When you're looking at your backlinks as a KPI, you, uh, you don't want to focus on numbers. You want to focus on quality and relevance. So if you have consultants helping you with SEO or you're doing your SEO in-house, you want to 
measure the number of new links you're getting to your website and those links need to be relevant to your niche. So that's the one key criteria you need to focus on. Focus on quality. If, you can, if you're like in an informational space, the number of links you can get from reputable websites or educational university websites, the better for you because those links are links that are important to your target audience. So you want to get links that come from website that your target audience visits. So that's what relevance is all about. And in our earlier conversation, you also emphasized conversion rate as the number one goal for effective SEO. So what are the KPIs you would track related to conversion? So when you're looking at conversion from an SEO perspective, you want to track conversion from SEO as an individual channel. Conversion, you always have assisted conversion because people will come through different channels and they will relate with different channels and you get your final conversion. But you want to focus on the conversions you're getting, even from a location perspective. If you're an international website, you want to look at your conversion from countries, from cities, major cities, time of the day and different kind of elements. So you want to pay attention. So those locations that you're getting very, very high conversions from, and you can identify the locations that you're not getting good conversions from, from an SEO perspective. So you can then complement it with page search. So that's where SEO and page search works hand, hand in hand. So your conversion, if you're getting good conversions on one side and you're struggling in another side, you can complement it with page search. So conversion is the number one key performance indicator from an SEO perspective. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your top key performance indicators in SEO. Thank you, you're welcome. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, clicking on the bell notification down, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.